Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round decimals to the nearest hundredth. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 492 thousandths. And the first thing we need to do when rounding a decimal is find the place that we're rounding to and look next door. So we're rounding to the hundredths. So we have a nine in that place. And we need to look to the right as far as next door goes, always to the right when rounding. So we have a two there. Now we need to determine, is that two five or more and we raise the score, which means round up, or is that two four or less and we let the nine rest? Well, two is four or less, so we let the nine rest, and our rounded answer is going to be 49 hundredths. Now I do want to mention when we round whole numbers, we're used to uh, changing any digit to the right to a zero. When it comes to decimals, we can cut those zeros off. We can cut it off after the place that we're rounding to because those zeros are just placeholders. They don't actually hold any value when it comes to decimals. Now don't do that when it comes to whole numbers. Again, just decimals. So on to number two where we have five and 186 thousandths. So let's find the hundredths place, underline it. We have an eight there. Now we need to look next door, always to the right when rounding. Is that six, five or more, and we raise the score, or is it four or less and we let it rest? Well, six is five or more, so we need to round up. This decimal is closer to, or rounds to, five and 19 hundredths. So when we round, to the hundredths, we're seeing, for example, number two, is that decimal closer to five and 18 hundredths, which means stays the same, or is it closer to five and 19 hundredths, which means we round up. And in this case for number two, we round it up. So there you have it. There's how you round decimals to the nearest hundredth. I have other rounding videos. I dropped all the links down in the description. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.